going on guys? So it's currently the 7th of January, it's a week into 2019. I hope everyone's having a good year so far. As it's only been 7 days, I hope you've done everything that you've wanted to do in those 7 days. Like, watch TV all day. So today is a rest day. I've never actually recorded a rest day on my channel before. I've always found like, I don't know what to record when I'm doing a rest day. But I thought it'd be interesting to show you like what I eat on a rest day. Um, the supplementation I have, like my calories and whatever. Um, it'll probably go into some training footage tomorrow, so later on in the video. But I thought for the start of this video, I'll just show you what I eat on a rest day typically. So I drop my calories down a little bit on a rest day. On a training day, I'd be a lot more active, obviously, because I'm training. So on a rest day, I'm not as active as I would be, so I wouldn't be burning that much calories. So there's no need for me to have over 3,000 calories on a rest day because I'm just not gonna utilize those calories and it'll probably end up turning to excess fat. A little update as well with my SI joint, my pelvis. Um, I went to see a new chiropractor. Basically, they gave me a new training routine for my SI joint. So I'll put a picture on the screen of where the SI joint is. It'll be somewhere around here. And basically, I've got to re-strengthen the ligaments in that joint and the muscle around it. So I've been given a routine, and I will record that for you later in this vlog. But I've been given a routine to strengthen all the ligaments and the muscles around the joint. So maybe if you guys are feeling any lower back pain, it kind of feels like it's on one side and it feels like something needs to kind of be popped. Maybe it is your SI joint, so just look into it. And also guys, if you are feeling any pain, get it sorted straight away. Go see a specialist. Do not keep working out with pain. You know, if, if you're taking a week off and it's still hurting, please go see a specialist. Don't just leave it because it's the stupidest thing you can do. And plus, it can get worse. And then, you know, other injuries will happen with this one injury because, you know, your, your whole body has to compensate. Your whole body wants to guard this like injured area have you noticed when you get injured all your muscles tense up around that area your whole body is guarding this area so your body's going to compensate for that and you could get other injuries on that anyway i'm going to go do the routine i've been set by my chiropractor to re-strengthen my si joint i usually listen to some type of podcast as well when i'm doing this routine because it does take about 20 minutes so i'll record this routine for you guys i called record little snippets of it and hopefully you can kind of take it away and maybe just do some mobility in the morning as well if you're feeling completely fresh and you don't feel injured at all just make sure that your mobility is down as well so that's another thing a lot of people neglect anyway let's just get on with the routine yeah, I do my days. my expenditure some days is like 1200 steps yeah. Tennis ball between the knees, just keeping the legs open a little bit and not together. Okay guys, so that is it for the re-strengthening routine. As you saw, I had to use a few, few things like George's tennis ball and the pink foam roller. Don't ask me about a pink foam roller, it wasn't me who bought it. Anyway, as you saw, I had to do a couple of things like with mobility, stretching, and just kind of little re-strengthening um, exercises and core exercises as well, making sure like the pelvis is tilted in the right way when I perform the exercise or the movement. Anyway, Nathan's coming around in a minute and we're gonna do some college work and I'll see you guys when I've cooked meal one. Right guys, so meal number one going down, I've got four whole eggs, four egg whites, two slices of wholemeal bread, and then a shit ton of ketchup on top. But it's sugar-free ketchup or 50% less sugar and salt ketchup. The time is five past 11, so kind of fasted for a little bit today. I woke up at eight, so you know, fast for three hours on a rest day. I don't really like get up and eat straight away because I don't really find that's beneficial for me 
in a way that I would just constantly keep eating throughout the day. So now I know that if I eat 11, I probably won't be hungry till about one. And then if I eat another meal, it kind of spaces out two hours rather than eating at eight, wanting to eat at 11. And then it's just a vicious cycle of just continuously eating. Anyway, so I'm gonna demolish this and I'll see you guys for meal two. Right guys, so for meal two, I will be having 250 grams of cooked chicken, 100 grams of uncooked pasta, I think it's just the spiral pasta, I can't actually remember what that type of pasta is called, a handful of asparagus and some dolmio low fat tomato bolognese sauce. Nathan is currently eating a shit ton of McDonald's, you know, fitness, health, life. This is, yeah, he reckons a dirty bulk is the best way to go. I don't necessarily agree, but yeah. I thought as well, quickly, because I said I'd go through supplementation, I have already taken all my tablets and what I take in the morning, but I'm just gonna quickly go over it. I take around eight grams of creatine every morning. I up my dosage on creatine because I was taking like three grams because I thought the scoop was five grams, but actually supplement companies only do three gram scoops, which is fucking stupid. Don't get me started on that rant. So I've now upped it to eight grams because I'm over 90 kilos. I take, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C every day. That's the chewable vitamin C, you get that in Tesco's. This is just for like general health. Fish oil, another one just for general health, has many benefits. Google the benefits of fish oil and you'll understand and you, I guarantee you'll be shot in this shit like vodka when you realize the benefits. Multivitamin, again, general health. You guys know what a multivitamin does. Obviously it has all your necessary vitamins that you need. Zinc, because my immune system is absolutely garbage and some glycosamines for my joints i've been taking this for the past year now and i definitely think it's helped with like tendonitis and everything like that so i'm gonna eat this and i'll meet you guys in a little bit right guys so for meal three i've got 250 grams of that is raw weight by the way two percent turkey beef half pack of peppers and half a pack of basmati rice. I've just realized how low I am in fats in a moment, so I will have to make up for my fats later on in the day, so I'll probably do that, you know, with some oats later or something like that. I'm just kind of prioritizing my carbs and my protein at the moment, because I find fats easier to get in later on in the day. Plus, fats are just easy to eat anyway. Like, come on, like, everything bad has fats in it. So yeah, I'm gonna demolish this, and I'll catch you guys for the next meal. Right, guys, so for meal four, just let me explain this, because I know it looks quite disgusting at this moment in time. Basically, this is two sachets of the Quaker Oats, 35 grams of peanut butter, 25 grams of Nutella, a little bit of golden syrup, I'd probably say probably about two tablespoons of gold, golden syrup, and a scoop and a half of whey protein from bolt powders. And I know this looks disgusting, but it's an easy way for me to get in calories. Anyway guys, I'm gonna eat the rest of this, and then I'll pick up the vlog in the morning. Right guys, so it's currently the next morning now. I've got my phone with me. I've logged all the food. Well, I logged all the food yesterday as I ate it. I also prepped meal two and three, so I can definitely recommend to you guys if you are kind of dieting or even just like bulking, just make sure you have some meals prepped just as kind of like backup meals, like just in case you're too hungry to cook. We've all been in that situation and we've all took the trip down to McDonald's rather than gone to Tesco's and bought some good food. Anyway. I'm just gonna break down the calories for yesterday. So yesterday in total, I had 2,886 calories. For macros, I had 245 grams of protein. I'll just get to the protein in a minute, just hear me out on this. I had 290 grams of carbs. So for an off day, so like for a non-training day, that is a good amount of carbs. I also had 69 grams of fat, were he. So I had under 80 grams of fat, which is the goal. Um, I tried to keep it around you know, 70 to 80 grams of fat, so I had 69 grams of fat, so close enough to 70. The carbs were still pretty low, usually I'm around 400 grams of carbs on a training day, so on a non-training day, dropping it down 100 grams of carbs is quite good. And with the protein, the reason the protein is so ridiculously high, so 245 grams of protein is a lot, but I don't count the protein I get from like pasta and rice and stuff like that, so if you notice, when I ate that pasta yesterday, I think it was 100 grams of uncooked pasta has something like 15 grams of protein in it. But I don't count that type of protein 
um, in my overall protein sources. Um, even though my fitness pal does, and obviously it add up to the calories and everything, I don't really count that as my protein intake. Along with like the wholemeal bread as well, two slices of a wholemeal bread is something like 12 grams of protein, which is good, but your body's not gonna utilize that type of protein as efficiently as it would like with like whey protein and other types of protein. Anyway guys, I know this has been like a little bit of a different video to usual. I know it hasn't been as exciting as it would be. You know, usually I'd be training, going out, but yesterday was a rest day and I thought it would be interesting just to show you what I kind of intake on a rest day. Because I think well, like some people don't really know what to do on a rest day because they either end up overeating or under eating. So just trying to find that balance and I've just kind of explained what I do on a rest day. So if you want to take any of my advice, that is completely up to you. I'm not saying that I'm 100% right. So if you've got your own kind of thing going, you know, each to their own, everyone works differently. Everything works different for everyone in this game. So, you know, help each other out. If you've got some tips, help each other out. You know, if you've got any advice from me, leave in the comment section down below. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, then fuck off. And what if you want, subscribe. Peace out.